Hello guys, a very good day. This is Dr. Ranjan, your Pathology Educator at Academy. So we are in the second question of the NEET PG 2021 Pathology discussion. And I'm going to discuss the most considered controversial question. It's not at all a controversial question, it's an unwanted controversy created, right? Let's go back to the question straight away without any undue delay, right? A 22 year old software engineer having ordered food online for the past few months and his diet was had a complete lack of fruits and vegetables. See, the only positive history which I've got till now is a complete lack of fruits and vegetables, right? That's very important here. Uh, some of them said it's a female person, male person. Gender is not going to help in the diagnosis. So whatever gender it may be, leave it there, right? CBU, so the patient was evaluated for fifty. Hemoglobin was 9. MCU was 115. It's macrocytic, right? Rest of the parameters are normal. Examination was normal. What is the most likely cause of anemia? See, with this... Two things I can directly rule out is hereditary spherocytosis and autoimmune hemolytic anemia. And I'm sure all of you would have ruled out this, right? I have only two more things left. The two more things gives you the perspective of the basic things which you have to know. If you might know the high fi tests and treatment for your megaloblastic anemia, but if you are not strong in the basic, you might have made a mistake here. I'll come to the question directly, right? It's a patient with having macrocytic anemia, that's all. Most likely megaloblastic because these two options, whatever is there, has to be megaloblastic. Though I don't have hypersegmented neutrophils in the question, but I presume that. One thing which students said was, it didn't have pancytopenia. So how it can be uh, folate or B12? The only thing is, they have missed it or must be an early, early presentation. That doesn't matter for me because that's not a differentiating point between B12 or folate. Be it B12 or be it folate, it will both will have megaloblastic anemia, both will present pancytopenia. If pancytopenia is not there in the question, I am not going to rule out these two because these are the only two options available for me. So I have to narrow down to these two only. So I am going to ignore that. It's a common variable, so it can be easily ignored. Second thing is, so few students said that B12 is a very common disease. Folate is rare, so I am going to go for B12. No, not at all. When you look at B12 or your megaloblastic anemia, you must have read that. Megaloblastic anemia is very, very rarely due to dietary deficiency. You have problems in the stomach, pernicious, common cause, atrophic gastritis, any cause, common cause, right? H. pylori destroys everything, can cause it. Pancreas problem can cause it. Ileal overgrowth can cause it. Surgeries can cause it. So when I take megaloblastic anemia, as given the question which is due to diet, dietary component of megaloblastic anemia is extremely, extremely, extremely rare. You can expect in only one person who are vegans. Why my vegan is responsible is it's not vegetarians. You have to very, be very careful because that also must have messed it to the, this question that okay, I something it's and there's no meat involved here, so could be megaloblastic anemia, right? B12 related. Meat is not a problem. When the person is vegan, vegan means not a person who doesn't eat meat. Vegan means a person who's not going to even consume milk. The problem with megaloblastic or B12 deficiencies, B12 deficiency is possible only in vegan because when a person consumes milk that also will have lactobacillus that bacteria can go to the colon and synthesize the b12 right so when a person is vegan which means one of the important sources is your non-veg in addition to that if milk is also gone there's no automatic synthesis so it's unlikely to be b12 deficiency in the question discussed here second thing again to be against b12 deficiency to have b12 deficiency due to diet causing an anemia, the history should have been minimum for 3-5 years. Because if I stop eating milk or if I become vegan today, I will not have megaloblastic anemia within few months. Because I have enough stores for next 3-5 to five years in my body for B12. So dietary deficiency of B12 will have a very long history. Ordering online and eating, it's not a very long history. Maybe a few uh, work related work from homes, few months or so. It's not for 3-5 years. Again, dietary deficiency should be a very, very long to cause B12 deficiency because I have enough stores. Then look at folate. The good thing about folate is, or maybe the bad thing about folate is, folate doesn't have enough stores. You stop eating folate for the next few months, two, three months, the stores are depleted and you'll end up in an anemia. So this is a classical thing. Folate very commonly is dietary related because it's a very short storage thing, right? I stop eating folate today, next two months I'll have megaloblastic anemia because there'll be no residual folate available in my body. And the most important source of folates are green leafy vegetables. So everything fits into folate. It has to be and it's only folate deficiency. Please don't go with whatever you are having a review on. I just want you to go with whatever you've learned. You know that 
folate is there in green leafy vegetables, not B12. B12 sources are meat, your liver and the red meat. And the other important source of B12 is milk, which can be sensitized in your body. So this question had clearly mentioned whether veg, non-veg food is there or not. I am not going into the controversy because few students say there is a non-veg food. If it's there, very, very superb. It's going to come to the folate deficiency. The question clearly says that the person is not having green leafy vegetables. There's a very short history of dietary deficiency. It has to be only one person folate and non-B12, right? There's no controversy in this. I want you to clear your head and say it's folate. It's a classical case of a folate deficiency related megaloblastic anemia. That should be more than enough for us. There's no confusion here. I'm just reiterating. It's a simple question. That's all. So we are going to create lots of similar questions in your special classes. And I have special classes structured for your FMG and EPGR and Indian aspirants as well. Do download the Academy app and follow me at Pathokyaps Ranjit. So you can uh, listen to more classes and we'll make your concepts more stronger. Fine. And as I said, in the starting of the class, there'll be lots of many videos individually titled with the question number so that you can watch whatever you want to watch. Fine. Thank you for your time listening. Do like and subscribe to the video. Comment if there's any discrepancy. We'll definitely sort it out. See you soon. Till then. Bye-bye from Dr. Ranjit. Bye-bye.